what is going on guys? Dr. D here from OneHive 2.0, uh, bringing you a war recap between 2.0 and J-Off uh, that we recently had um, in a random spin. Uh, we did have a one Town Hall 11 advantage here, so uh, keep that in mind. Before I get into that though, real quick, I just want to mention the new recruiting process that we're using. Um, you can look in the clan description. There's now a Discord link. Um, if you go to that Discord link, you immediately get assigned as a recruit and somebody will contact you within hours. If you're coming from um, a, a high level or elite war clan, uh, odds are we're just going to bring you straight into Invicta, um, have you do a couple of FCs, maybe do a war with us. Uh, rather than the multi-week process and the, the extensive application process that we used to have, um, we're really trying to accommodate some of you guys who have had a, a lot of great experience um, and don't want to spend a ton of time trying to get into the 2.0 family. Um, we've streamlined the process for people like that. If you aren't coming from a clan like that, um, you'll probably get pushed to Swarm and you will go through the same sort of process, but it's still streamlined for you as well. Um, anyway, uh, come and check us out. We're actively recruiting for uh, the um, CWL. We have 2.0 as an invite league again this year. Um, Invicta is in rising again this year, um, and we are uh, really excited to get as many new 9s, 10s, and 11s as we can. Anyway, uh, check us out. Um, let's hop over and let's have a look at the war statistics here. So here's the basic war statistics, um, 81 to 78, uh, 24 triples to 19 triples. Um, you'll see here, uh, we actually had a Town Hall advantage. We had one more Town Hall 11 than they did, um, so that made that made a difference. Uh, also, you'll, you'll notice they had some really tough Town Hall 11s. Out of their five, we were only able to get two stars on two of them, so three one-star Town Hall 11s. Um, they only left one of our Town Hall 11s one-starred, uh, so props to them. They did a very nice job. Um, they, they had a little bit more trouble with our 10s. Uh, we were able to clear all of their 10s, but one. Uh, number 13 here, um, and that was actually hit by a... Uh, gosh, I'm pretty sure that's a Town Hall 9. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's have a look here. We're just going to watch... As far as Town Hall 10 hits, um, I'm, I'm not going to show any dips. We'll just look at Town Hall 10 triples. So uh, this is Valvi, um, and or, or Val, or Val Nafretzi, um, or Guapo. Uh, goes by a lot of different names because he has a lot of different accounts. Account here, an account in uh, one have 1.0, um, or as Town Hall 9 is. But uh, he's, he's coming in here with uh, starting to set this funnel. He's gonna gonna come in with a Lalo um, with the goal of I'm gonna leave that up there and focus down here where his king is gonna come in. Um, king is going to uh, clear a little bit of trash out here. He's gonna drop a bolt or a, a giant over here to prevent um, the splash defense from getting his uh, wall breaker. Now I believe he wanted to get yeah I thought he wanted to wall break in over here. Uh, that didn't happen. Winds, winds up wall breaking in over here. Maybe, the, oh no, he did want to wall break in here because the goal for, for this queen is to get this Inferno Tower, to get this enemy queen, and to get this air defense right here. Uh, so king's ability is popped, but it doesn't matter. Queen just took down that uh, Inferno Tower. She's going to take down this cannon, step up, takes out the air defense, takes out the enemy queen, lures the clan castle, that is all he needs out of that queen. At this point, she can die. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, starts the air attack right here. Um, comes in with a couple of lavas. Uh, haste those loons behind them. Um, this this first hound is going to pop fairly quickly here. The, the second hound makes it over to the uh, um, air defense, but just barely, and, and it pops. Um, keeps those, those loons healed up as they move over there. And the last uh, hound is coming in. Rage over that Inferno Tower. Um, last hound is sitting there. It's going to make it right up to the point um, that it needs to. And right before that air defense goes down, it pops. So he's got plenty of hounds. Or, I mean, uh, plenty of pups. Uh, you'll, you'll see here in a second that those pups are going to get fixated a bit on this... Um, uh, CC Hound, the enemy CC Hound. Doesn't matter though. It is all clean up at this point. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Very nice job 
uh, vowel. <clears throat> All right, let's scroll down a little bit. And Fat Joe, I actually think Val did this hit as well for Fat Joe. Um, it's going to look very, very uh, interesting. Um, I think, I mean, maybe, maybe he didn't. Maybe, maybe this was Fat Joe, or maybe Rob did the hit. Heck, I don't know. Um, but you'll see he's got two golems coming in, um, setting up funnel. Uh, Queen is down over there. Um, going to wall break in. I don't think that's where he wanted to wall break in. Going to wait for the queen to knock that out now. Uh, wall break in down here low where he wants in. And it is open. He's in. The funnel is now set. This one wizard took out that, uh, that whole um, uh, town hall. And so now in comes giant, a couple of golems, some Valks. The goals here, get this Inferno Tower, get the enemy queen, and get one of these um, expos, if not both of these expos. Uh, gonna get one for sure. There goes the Inferno Tower. Queen is down. Um, Expo is down. King is down. And Inferno Tower is down. And now he comes with the hogs. And notice a, a, a lot of hogs right off the bat here. These Town Hall 10 defenses have a lot of XP. And you're gonna see another hog attack. It goes very similar to this. Uh, heal is going to come down right now. Um, probably wouldn't have hurt to heal those hogs up a little bit earlier before they started getting those, but wanted to make sure he healed over that bomb. Uh, freeze on top of that Inferno Tower. Worked out perfectly. Last heal comes down. Just as they hit that giant bomb, doesn't matter. Um, they're healing up right on the edge of that, uh, of that expo, and that is it. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Very, very nice job. Fat Joe or, or Val or Robert, whoever did this hit. I, I, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you at this point, but um, beautiful hit. Uh, still has a spell in the bag there that he hasn't used. There he drops it in the middle for a bunch of skeletons to do nothing. Uh, but there we go. Uh, the next one we're going to watch is actually very similar to this one. This one was by Rob. And you'll see the army composition is basically the same. Um, the spell composition is basically the same. Has two golems down. Um, brought a golem in the CC. And so he's starting setting up, setting a nice funnel. Wants to wall or break in right here, right? Jump, get to this uh, inferno tower, and more importantly, or as as important, I should say, um, get this enemy queen. Uh, if you're going to take out an Inferno Tower, ideally you want to get the higher level Inferno Tower. Um, so, uh, notice this is this is interesting because at this point his kill squad is coming in, he's got his Valks down, and there is basically nothing left for Golems. Golems are all gone. It is the King, some Valks, and some uh, Bowlers, and you'll see that they don't get near the push that um, his other the, the other kill squad got. Uh, does get an Inferno Tower there, does get the Enemy Queen, unfortunately doesn't get this Inferno Tower, winds up getting this one, but that works out just fine. Um, hog Deployment is going to work counterclockwise around this base, ending with this last Inferno Tower where he will drop a Freeze, and I believe he's got uh, double bombs here. Um, so, uh, lots of Hogs sitting in that heal, they take a bomb in that heal or a bomb tower in that heal, doesn't matter. Um, hogs are just eating this stuff alive. A little bit early probably with that heal since it doesn't do any good while uh, hogs are, are um, getting eaten up by an inferno tower. Nonetheless, uh, this is probably uh, where a freeze would have been nice and maybe a, a heal to heal those things up while it's frozen, but it doesn't matter. It is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Robra. And I should say, I don't have a Town Hall 10. Um, when I'm commenting here, it is just my own personal thoughts. I am nowhere near at the caliber that these guys are uh, that are that are three-starring Town Hall 10s with, with Hogs or with Lalos or whatever. But but Hogs are back in a big way at Town Hall 10. Um, Lalo has always been there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really fun to watch and really interesting to watch these plans. And when you think about it, um, these guys that are clearing these Town Hall 10s with Hogs, it's, it's really kind of back to basics. And speaking of back to basics, look at what we have here. 
a shattered, um, uh, <laughs> just a, a plain shattered hog attack. Uh, he's got a jump, he's got three heals, a poison, actually has a skelly spell here, but this is Dr. Madman. And the idea is, let's jump in, let's get that queen, and if possible, let's take out an expo. Uh, you know, one of, when we think about what we used to try and look for, oh, and pull the CC, don't get me wrong. Um, when we think about what we used to try and do with uh, hog attacks, we had these main goals of get the CC, get the queen, and if possible, use those golems to trip any double giant bombs. Um, CC hogs are super, super powerful right now. Uh, don't have to worry about double giant bombs. We can heal right through those now. So seldom do you actually see double giant bombs. Uh, people are putting them or separating them up. But hogs are just, I mean, this is the most powerful I've seen hogs since. Remember when you were a, when, when for those who have been playing this game for a long time, at Town Hall 8, when you could basically just spam all of your hogs, throw down three heals, and just let the hogs run wild through the base and nothing would happen because double giant bombs didn't deal, or giant bombs didn't deal the same sort of damage that they did after, after an update of, in like 2013 or something. Uh, that's what we're looking at now. Um, hogs that are just super, super overpowered. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> is going to pull out the triple here. Uh, does wind up burning through all of his hogs in this. Um, I'm not going to show this same attack over and over because there are an awful lot of hog attacks here. I wasn't in this one, and Lee wasn't in this one, and he and I both like to do these um, hog attacks with four heals rather than a jump. Uh, although, um, using the jump doesn't hurt all, either. So, here's McSmash. Um, a very similar approach. Uh, going to set up the um, golems. Got an Got a very kind of nice deep entry there that he can get to. Gets the enemy queen, gets a CC, um, gets one expo, and just starts working his way around. Uh, notice that he saved a poison and was able to then use that poison to take out uh, skellies. Um, if you can just spend one poison on your CC, then fantastic. Uh, I just saw an attack by um, in, in Invicta by Terry Teco who, I mean, he swagged half of his hogs, and I think three spells, two heals, and a poison, so we'll speed up through this. And there we go. All right, what else did we want to show? Not meh, HB. HB is a very nice Queen Walk Lalo. So we'll speed it up here just a little bit. Um, queen is down. Now, I think her plan was actually to get the queen to walk towards 9 o'clock here. Um, looked like she was trying to cut off this section, and it looked like the queen was going to walk towards 9 o'clock. You'll see she's going to come up here. She's going to take out this stuff, take out the enemy queen. Uh, and then she decides, like they do so often, nah, I'm going to go this way. Even though it, I feel like that gold storage was pretty, or gold collector was pretty close. Uh, she turned around and she started walking this way. It works out anyway. And maybe this was HB's plan. I, I, I don't remember, to be honest. Um, anyway, she is going to uh, switch things up here just a little bit. We'll speed it up. She's going to come in with her kill squad right here at about 3 o'clock. She's got a uh, CB, uh, cold-blooded. Um, gets the gets the CC pull, winds up having to pop her queen's ability, but it's okay. It's always scary when you see those uh, those baby dragons lock on. Um, I don't know if you saw it there or not, but she had a uh, wall break fail, um, drops a jump, jump gets her plenty of space, exactly what she needed anyway. Um, this is a little bit scary. Still has an air defense up, but man, she's got an awful lot of loons moving over there. Queen finally gets in there, takes it out, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, HB. All right, moving on. Ammer had a great hit. So, uh, this base is becoming increasingly more common. Queen exposed, easy to lure CC, 
These are the kind of bases that I love to hit, especially with a king back here, because you can send in one golem, your queen, and maybe a couple of Valks, and you can get the enemy queen, and you can get the CC, and you can even drop your king back here and swap BKs, and then you can you can hog that base really, really easy. You can come in with 30, 35 hogs and just wreck this base. Uh, but um, Ammer comes in with a little bit different approach. Um, does have his his king uh, and does have some and some Valks, but no Golem in this in this composition. And a ton, an absolute ton of loons. Look at that, 28 loons. Gonna get two air defenses with his uh, queen here. Um, sends in a hound with a bunch of loons following behind. Probably could have waited just a little bit on that hound. Uh, comes in with the next hound and has, has dropped seven loons out of the 28. Uh, there he drops a few more. I'm going to bring in some loons over at the at the, the 3 o'clock and then haste those over to get them up there quickly. Uh, but just so many loons. Um, is going to be able to heal these loons to make sure that they don't take a huge amount of damage as they push through down here. But hasn't even dropped 8 loons yet. I mean, now he starts kind of um, tossing them in, throwing some hastes to get his loons over there. But basically nothing left of this base and, and he had almost you know like half of his army left or at least a, a quarter of his army left so uh, that is it it is tree stars in the bag still with three loons and, and, a, and a minion sitting there uh, no need to I guess he throws them down over there to have a little loon parade but a uh, nice job Ammer tree stars in the bag okay Papa Smurf yeah I wanted to show this attack so this is a queen walk hog attack it's similar to what HB did with the Lalo um, but we'll speed this up just a little bit trying to push his queen down towards the six o'clock as you can see setting some wizards down there to help set this funnel uh, queen takes out the king and of course has a mind of her own um, there we go. She does wind up going in the right direction, though. Um, and uh, wall breaks in. BK is now down. Going to send everything in here to take out the enemy queen, pull that CC, get that expo, and if possible, trip a double giant bomb or a giant bomb right there. Uh, there is one giant bomb trip. I'm going to slow this down. Um, deep push here with the kill squad. Uh, Hogs are already coming in, working, and drops the one heal that he has for his hogs right there. And that is about it. We'll speed this up now. Um, hogs are going to finish off these uh, few defenses that are left, and it is Tree Stars in the bag. A very nice job, Papa Smurf. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Cass? I think I wanted to show one of Cass. Yeah, this one works. Uh, so this is, I don't think this is actually the one that I wanted to show, but it works. Um, we have uh, the uh, uh, Stoned Hobo, my favorite name for an attack. Um, so three golems, 16 hogs, a whole ton of wizards. Um, breaks in right there. And it is two jumps. Um, ooh, and those those bowlers decide that they're just going to take off. Uh, throws a heal down over there to keep those bowlers alive and to clear out that kind of area right there. Um, now that those bowlers have been kept alive, he's going to be able to yeah get a lot of junk I think cleaned up with these bowlers. Let's see what happens. Um, ugh, there we go. That uh, Expo switches targets. It was fixated on those bowlers for a little bit. Switches over, fixates on a golem that's sitting in there, and the rest of his uh, the rest of his army has cleared out the rest of that base. Having those bowlers walk wound up not being a big deal at all, and that is that. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Cass. Um, let's see here, Murph. So Murph is going to come in with a. Uh, witch slap you know we just finished the NDL war um, and uh, the 
the witch slap, the, there was a vase and it was giving us so much trouble. And I was online with, um, with Val and HB and, uh, JB Fuse, and we were trying to figure out like how in the world do we crack this base in NDL? If you have a, if you get stuck on a Town Hall Nine, there's there's no you know, <laughs> there's no dropping down with a ten to take it out. I mean, you're just stuck. If you don't clear that nine, you're in trouble. Um, so we had a Town Hall Nine that we were really kind of struggling with, and we had come up with this kind of elaborate uh, queen walk into. Uh, uh, a cold-blooded entry with um, uh, hogs, but it was a deep push to get the queen. It was a, it was it was a risky but a cool approach. And uh, Murph was up, Baron von Murph, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, I'm I've never done that before. I'm I'm not the the greatest with queen walk, and I I had a witch slap trained, and I was like, wait, has anyone hit this base with a witch slap yet?" And I can tell you right now that when it comes to cracking a base, um, if you've hit a base more than twice and you haven't tried Witch Slap yet, you've got to try it. Uh, <laughs> because so, so often, um, Witch Slap just clears a base. I mean, the bases that you are struggling with, I feel like Witch Slap gets it. And so Murph here, notice, has not popped his Queen's ability yet. Uh, has, has a lot of army left. All of his healers are still left. Um, they're working on getting in there, getting to that expo, and, and there they go. That's it. It is three stars in the bag, never used Queen's ability. And um, on that base in NDL, that's exactly what happened. Murph just cleared it. Okay, let me see here. Heartless. All right. So Heartless is coming in with a Queen Walk. Um, CB entry. Uh, one of the, you know, this actually would be another uh, very nice base to use um, uh, hogs with four heels and, and just a, a whole load of hogs. But uh, it doesn't matter. Um, Heartless is coming in here. Uh, I, I like to see this a lot, these um, entries where uh, you start out with a queen walk and your, your CB portion of your, of your kill squad uh, meets up with that queen and, and enters in with um, a whole bunch of healers, uh, and it's it's been it's been very effective. A lot of our guys have done it. Uh, the trick to it usually, obviously, is getting the queen and getting the um, CC. Uh, and if you can get one of those expos along with that, hey, um, all the more all the more power to you. Uh, and then if you can save save one heal for those hogs. But that is it. It is three stars in the bag. Very nice hit, Heartless. All right. And I was thinking there was one more that I wanted to show. Was it Val? I didn't think it was Val. It might have been. Oh, yeah, it was PH. Um, so this is a very heavy... Uh, hog base or a very heavy hog composition it's got 32 hogs it's basically queen walk with mass hogs um three heels for hogs and uh a rage for the queen walk um, so king is down queen is down goal here is to take out the enemy king enemy queen and to get the cc pull and so let's watch this here uh does get all of that taken care of cc pull um, enemy king, enemy queen, CC is all gone, um, and now the queen is basically um, out of play. She's going to walk along here, she's going to continue to clear stuff out, but you, you notice he's got great path ho hog pathing here. They're going to come here, they're going to work their way right up this way. Easy, easy heals. Another heal can go down right there, and... I mean, this heel could have perhaps been moved up a little bit, but notice he's got a, a giant bomb and two Teslas there. So, but that is it. It is three stars in the bag. Very, very nice hit. Great plan on these compact bases where you can walk the king and the queen. Um, I mean, why not go for it? He could cover the entire rest of the base in heels. All right, that is it. Three stars in the bag. Very nice job, PH. So, 
Again, uh, final score on um, props to Jayoff, uh, you know, down to Town Hall 11. Um, that's that's a tough thing to work your way back from. Um, but they de definitely gave us a run for our money. Uh, we've got CWL coming up. Um, Invicta, uh, it made CWL rising again. We were in the playoffs last year. Um, 2.0 made uh, CWL invite. And I feel like our squad in 2.0 um, is as is, is good as it's been in a long time. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, if, if you're looking for a CWL clan or a, a clan family with a, with a lot of CWL uh, participation, um, hit us up. Uh, so um, you can see the Discord link in our uh, clan description. Go find OneHive 2.0. Uh, find the Discord link, and uh, HB will get you connected up. We've actually got a new process right now for recruiting where we are. If you come from from um, an Elite War clan or Elite War family, uh, any one of the, the clans that have been in um, M, uh, the MLCW or any of the CWL leagues, um, we have an abbreviated process now. It's no longer a long application process and a long wait in order to get in. Um, if you come from one of those families, chances are you're going to go straight into Invicta. We're going to do a couple of FCs with you, throw you in a war, and decide whether you uh, hang with us, um, maybe move down to Swarm and work a little bit, uh, or, or possibly even go straight up to 2.0. Um, and this is for Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. We're, we're looking for... I mean, all three, um, we're, we're, we're looking to stack our roster. So, uh, you know, <laughs> hit us up, um, hit us up on DC. Uh, we are, um, actively, uh, seeking, uh, additions for the family right now. So this is Dr. D from one hive 2.0, uh, saying clash on.